Foundation. Hello there, this is a very brief tutorial on the tune The Lilting Banshee, which is a jig and each of the notes are played with a separate bow stroke. Okay, there are slides. The first slide is on the first note, that's on the D string and it slides up to the first note. And likewise there's another slide on the A string. So let's have a listen to that, the first part of the tune. Okay, did you catch that? So there are a couple of slides there, one on the D string and one on the A string. Now into the B section there's a nice little run, that starts on the A, followed by the first note on the A string, second note, third note, all done with one bow stroke in the, on this particular occasion, and then remainder of the B tune. That's a nice slide, that's on the ring finger, the third note of the D. I choose a slightly different variation in my B section in that, unlike on the session, most of the versions of the session um, don't play quite the same. My version is like this. Now this is what most of the B, uh, the session versions are like. So I combine the two, which sounds like this. So playing through from the top um, quite slowly and also so you can listen to the, um, the grace notes which in this tune are, are pretty straightforward. There's, the main one is the one on the A string and it's simply achieved by placing your first finger on the first note of the A string and hammering down with your ring finger onto the third note of the A string, hammering on and off as quickly as you can manage it. Likewise, there is there are one or two occasions where I also use a grace note on the D string, exactly the same variation. 
so it's holding down the first finger on the first note of the D string and hammering on and off with my ring finger. So I'll play the whole thing as slowly as possible and try and show you where I put those um, grace notes in and also the slides. Whoops! There was actually one there. to the B section one there from the top without talking at all just playing it through as slowly as possible if you're wishing to play along with this and don't forget there's a button on YouTube down here somewhere where you can click on something I think it's called settings and you can slow videos down so that can be quite useful if you're learning a tune Now there is one other variation that I add to this tune and that's in the A section. It sounds like this. So let's have a quick look at that. It's straightforward the first part. Now instead of going down, I go up. So I play the E and the A, open. So that just adds a little bit of variation to the tune. It's quite nice to do that, particularly if you play a jig more than three or four times, because it just adds slight variation. And it's surprising how uh, well the ear is tuned to picking up little variations like that, which makes the tune sound more interesting. Anyway, have fun. I hope this video helps. Um, I'll try and do a few more um, tutorial videos on other tunes that I play which um, I'll upload as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, here we go. Mm -hmm.